Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Today we are back working on the HO scale layout. We're going to install some brick sidewalks. We're going to pour a little bit more concrete and we're going to install some metal railings. And if we've got time, I would like to do some cardboard cutouts of the large skyscrapers that are going to be going along um, this side of the wall. And I just need to know, they're all going to have to be scratch built. So by doing some mock-ups, um, it'll tell me what size uh, to make them. So, all right, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. All right, the first thing we have to do is get a primer on our brick sidewalks. Now these brick sidewalks have come from <laughs> many different places. Uh, I think at least three different companies have sold them in the past. The original being Fine Scaled Miniatures, which is no longer in business. Um, this is the last of my supply. So um, I had considered making a mold of some of them and pouring some, uh, but I'm just gonna use these up and then from now on, just do concrete sidewalks out of styrofoam. All right, well, let's get a primer on these and then start painting them and then we'll get them installed on the layout. Okay, well, as you can see, uh, they're in place. Now, these are not glued. Um, I will be taking liquid nails and actually gluing these in place. Uh, but before I do that, because I need to move all this stuff, I just wanted to sort of keep going. And I need to um, put a concrete cap on top of this wall right here. Just a thin cap on top of there. And then we're going to put a metal railing along that sidewalk. Now, um, this is going to be made out of styrofoam. So let's go back over to the workshop and cut that out of styrofoam. We're using our chalk paint again. Cocoon. Now 
Next, we're going to paint our metal railings. These are from Tiji Train Group. You can see you get four pieces. So we'll cut these off. These are delicate, so be careful. Now we have to have enough to go the full length of this concrete piece that we painted. And we'll take a pin and poke holes in it and then glue those in place. All right, I'll finish cutting these out and we'll get a primer sprayed on them. Before I get a primer sprayed on these railings, um, let's put a wash over this concrete. It's completely dry now. And I just mixed, let's see, slate gray and neutral gray, probably 50-50, and a lot of water. I'm going to add even more water. Okay, now we can get a primer on our railings. Okay, let's go paint them. Okay, so I just quick sprayed them. Kind of a reddish brown. Okay, now we're gonna take our black wash that we made previously and go over these. Okay, now we'll let this dry really good. Uh, I'm just going back in and touching my brush to it and soaking up some of the excess ink wash. Helps it to dry a little quicker. Okay, again, we'll let this dry and then I might take, let's see, I'm gonna take some gunmetal gray and do some light dry brushing to make it look like uh, maybe the metal is coming through okay while we're waiting for these railings to dry let's take this over to the layout and get this glued in place then uh, We'll set the railings on it and poke our holes where they're going to go and then we can glue them in place. I want to get this glued in first because I'm afraid if I try to assemble this at the workbench and then try to um, put it in place on the layout and glue it that I'll break the railings. So, uh, so let's get this glued in place first. Okay, first let's get these buildings out of the way. Okay, so our concrete is gonna go right along here. I need a knife. Okay, I should probably glue in these first. Okay, now, let's see, where do I want to start? 
I'm going to start at this end. I'm debating whether or not I just want to curve it or put cuts in it. I think it should have cuts in it. Okay, now this one has to be cut at a slight angle. Now you'll see there's a gap in between there. We're going to put grass in there. All right. Now I'll take liquid nails and get that all glued in place. I am just so thrilled with how the trees are turning out and the fall leaves. You can see I'm starting to add some leaves on the ground. I'll be adding a lot more. So I'm thinking of replacing this tree with the fall tree. Lots of leaves on the ground. More, I may put a tree here or take out that pallet right there and put a tree right there. So we have lots of fall leaves all over the sidewalk and the street. And then we'll definitely be adding a lot of big fall trees in here. And over here, just to tie it in with the other side.
Well, as you can see, I've started making some cardboard buildings and everything will be triangle shaped. Even these, uh, th there'll be a side to it and then a top, but it'll be a triangle shape. Same with that one over there. There'll be an entire side that goes all the way back and then just a back on it. And then obviously they'll get smaller and smaller and uh, they'll be faded looking so it looks like it's off in the distance. I'll have an entire video showing how I make those cardboard buildings, but basically it will look like this. This is all mat board, construction board, um, but is it's all paper. I did this one years ago, years ago, and I'm not really happy with it just because of the texture of the brick. I have better textures now, but you can see very simple. But it's all paper. And that's what we'll do with those big ones. Now next to it is a better example. It is all paper that I just printed on my computer. And I used real plastic windows from Titchy. All right, well, more progress. Uh, I'm thrilled with this. Uh, I'm wanting to jump back over to the original section of the layout. And like I'd mentioned, I want to get fall trees, start putting in some roads and sidewalks. Um, I, I love jumping around on the layout. Um, it just keeps it all at the same um, look or quality uh, rather than starting at one point and working all the way around the room and ending here. I think the original section might not have the same quality as the last section that you end with uh, because as modelers we just advance um, all the time and we continue to grow and learn new techniques so I think it's important to keep jumping around on the layout. And I'm excited about doing the skyscrapers and doing an entire video on how to make those. Um, there's so many projects. I just get so excited about modeling. And I want to get back to the sci-fi layout. Uh, it's been quite a while, so... Well, that's all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Huge, huge thank you to all of my Patreons. Um, honestly, this channel is not possible without the help of all these people. Um, if you'd like to help the channel uh, and support what I'm doing, uh, please consider becoming a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jason Jensen Trains. All right, well, until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.